going to leave it two-tone, guys. What do you think? Just leave the Chianti red with the Nardo gray. Welcome back to another episode of JDM for All. Thank you guys so much for watching and welcome back JDM fam. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. And in today's video, we are doing another wrap video. I am trying to wrap the CRV as fast as possible while still not overdoing it because it's a lot of work. So right here, we have some more Nardo gray wrap. Now, if you guys are wondering what size I actually buy for all of these projects on the CRV so far, I've been buying four by five foot. I will have the link for this wrap in the description. This is from Amazon. And the size that I actually purchased every time was four by five foot. And that four by five foot piece that I ordered covered the door easily as well as this hood so if you guys have this second gen crv and you guys are trying to do the same thing the four by five foot piece seems to do well with all of the panels on the crv i should be able to wrap both fenders with this one piece as well today so we're going to be wrapping this driver fender which is pretty chipped up i showed this in a previous video there are chips all over the place so it's going to look way better when it's wrapped and the wrap is going to look great so here is the passenger fender it's definitely not perfect i don't even know where all of this came from but there's like lines all over the place on the plastic goes all the way over to this fender there are pretty good scratches on this fender like someone just dragged something across it or something i don't know as well as just off-roading scratches which you're going to get they're not very easily preventable especially if you go around lots of bushes and trees don't know if you could see those but i could see them right here so yeah we are going to be covering this fender today as well as the driver fender so we're going to start off by washing both of the fenders so let's go Okay, so the fender's washed, we are ready, and the passenger fender's done as well. And I didn't realize that I did not have a antenna removal socket. So I ended up just cutting the plastic that was around the antenna because this, you cannot get this off unless you cut that plastic or use a socket. So that's what I did was just cut the plastic. And I did cut around this plastic because this does go over it. I'll probably wrap this gray as well, I don't know. And then it's just going to look a lot cleaner than having that huge piece of plastic and rubber go around this fender right here. And I would delete the whole antenna, but I do still need a radio in the CRV. So we're going to wrap this fender after we wrap the driver's side, so let's go. So that was a lot easier than the hood or the door. 
This fender, these fenders on the second gen CRV are super easy to wrap. It's basically just flat with a little edge right here. So it is looking so good. Can't wait to be done with this fender. All I have to do is do some cutting really quick. That's why I did plan on wrapping both fenders today. I expected it to be pretty easy, but I wasn't expecting how difficult that antenna was over there, guys. So now that this side is completely done, I'm going to wrap the other side. I'll show you guys a little bit of wrapping that side, but for the most part, I'll show you guys when it's pretty much done. Okay, so it's done. It's probably been about an hour and a half to two hours and I am exhausted and thirsty. It's like 108 out here. Did part of it, it didn't come out very well. So I pulled it off and redid it again. And I'm really happy with how it came out. It came out clean and it came out really good. So that's the passenger side. Here's the driver side, which you guys already saw and thinking I'm going to leave it two-tone guys. What do you think? Just leave the Chianti red with the Nardo gray, it just looks good. And I'm obviously joking, I cannot leave it like this. <laughs> the heat in the sun is going to help it stick better. Also, if you guys do have little chips and stuff, this is one of my chips. And you can see the little dimples from it, as well as over here. If you guys really want it to look good and perfect, you can sand that down if you don't, if you're not worried about when you delete this wrap, actually having sand marks in your paint. You can sand those down and prep the paint before. I wasn't too worried about it. I feel like this is already a big upgrade from what it was before. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for making it this far. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. It is super hot out here. I'm going inside. This camera is burning hot and I can't wait to get some water. All right, so it's the next day and I can't be any happier. This color really is like Sonic Gray Pearl or Boost Blue. It just shines in the sunlight. So right here, I actually did have to stretch it because it wasn't actually reaching. It was probably like this much shorter. See you guys on the next one.